Watch a Chinese EV charge faster than any American car. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider giving us a super thanks to help us improve and bring you even more amazing content. We promise we read every single one of your messages. The car peaked at more than 378 kilowatts and zipped from 7% to 80% in 14 minutes. It's no secret I love the Zeker 007. It feels stylish and fresh, and I curse the US's China tariffs for keeping such a damn good car from our shores. But I will admit that although I enjoyed driving the thing around a racetrack in Beijing, my knowledge of the car's quality of life aspects is limited. The infotainment system was all in Chinese, and there wasn't enough time for me to get a demonstration of the 007's DC fast charging abilities. That last part is a big deal because the Zeker 001 and Zeker 007 are vying against the Li Automega for the record of the fastest charging EV. The 007 may be in third place, but according to this video in real time, Chinese EV drivers win either way. This video posted by a YouTube channel named China's EV Car shows a Zeker 007 in China charging at a DC fast charger. That in itself isn't necessarily news, but we can watch the 007 charge in real time, and its charging curve might be one of the most impressive I've seen among modern EVs yet. The driver plugged in the 007 at 7% and hit 80% state of charge in less than 14 minutes. Even if we acknowledge that technically the Hyundai had a head start, since it would start at 10% compared to the Zeker's 7%, the 007 did this four minutes faster than the fastest charging EV in the United States, the Hyundai Ioniq 6. I'd say that the most impressive part of the 007 is its charging curve. The car might not hit the 546 kilowatts peak like its larger Zeker 001 brother, but it still performs admirably. It holds speeds above 300 kilowatts for nearly five minutes, peaking at a staggering 378 kilowatts. After the car reaches roughly 40% charge, speeds ramp down fairly gently, slowing down into the 250 kilowatts range for most of the charge. Even at 79%, the 007's gauge cluster said the car was still pulling more than 160 kilowatts. The video ends with the 007 claiming to have added 343 miles, 553 kilometers, worth of range. There's no way to spin this badly. This is very impressive. Even if we downrate the 007's range estimates to the EPA standard instead of the CLTCs, the 007 charges fast and true. It shows that Geely's investments in smart technologies, like an 800-volt architecture, and its investments in battery technology are paying off. All but the top trim Zeker 007 performance model uses a 75 kilowatt hours LFP battery, dubbed Golden Battery by Geely itself. Geely claimed that this new battery would be able to add 310 miles, 500 kilometers, in 15 minutes, and from what we've seen on video, the car over delivered. By comparison, the 800 volt Lucid Air's DC fast charging peak of 304 kilowatts is lower, and it doesn't hold anywhere near long, with most sources insisting that it falls from grace at around 25%. The same goes for the Hummer and its mega-sized battery pack. It can't sustain the high speeds that Zeker does. Of course, this mega speed does call into question the longevity of the battery when constantly DC fast charged like this. However, unlike the Hummer and Lucid, the Zeker 007's battery is an LFP unit, a chemistry known for being fairly robust regarding full charge and discharge cycles. No Volvo or Polestar product can charge this quickly despite being under the Geely umbrella. Hopefully, as Geely's brands continue to synergize and Volvo and Polestar pick from the Geely parts bin, they'll integrate these lightning-quick charging skills into their product lineup. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun 
as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving us a super thanks. Your contributions make a huge difference and help us deliver even better content. So click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.